Ah, yes! Saturdays are made for dads. And dad's car. The 1997 Volvo 850R is the perfect car for the man who wants to take his family, dog included, to vacation, but also wants to take them to a track day at the Nürburgring. Basically, this crazy estate is what happens when your Swedish engineers bump their heads into their IKEA furniture a little too much, and decide that they want to make the ultimate sleeper family car. Furthermore, as if making arguably the single most iconic factory sleeper of all time wasn't enough, Volvo, who had retired from racing in 1987, decided that they would shock the world by entering the estate into the 1994 British Touring Car Championship. Now you might be thinking that they probably had made some super clever secret discovery to justify this crazy decision, but no. Even though they did discover that estates have a slight advantage in straight line aerodynamics when compared to sedans, the main reason as to why they did it was just because it would attract a lot of attention, which in all fairness, they got completely right. And if you thought entering a touring car championship with an estate was the craziest thing they did, this thing was actually fucking successful, at least until 1995, when the FIA allowed aerodynamic aids, which unfortunately rendered the estate uncompetitive, and it was replaced by the S40 instead. However, the short-lived career of the 850R was still enough for it to make its impact in the car community. In fact, it made such an impact that it made it into Forza, where it is a circuit monster in A-Class. Unlike our last previously covered front-wheel drive car, the Civic, the Volvo doesn't suffer from what made the Type R so difficult to drive, that being an extremely unstable back end. This is because, due to being an estate, the Volvo has a much heavier back end than a small hatchback like the Civic, which helps it be more planted to the ground, and makes it less susceptible to the back end suddenly slipping out. Not only that, but the Volvo has a longer wheelbase too, which makes it more stable and less twitchy during cornering. And the reason why your wheelbase is so long is because you're fucking huge, which makes overtaking you just that tiny bit harder for other people. To teach you how to drive this long boy, we have brought here our studio's professional racing driver. Some say his family are actually just his spare bones. All we know is he is. Sands from Undertale. Let's watch. As you're approaching the corner, brake. Even with race weight reduction and race brakes, this thing is an estate, so it's pretty heavy, meaning your braking distance might be slightly longer than other cars. Start turning towards the apex of the corner. This is where you'll start to notice just how heavy this car is, as you can really feel the weight while cornering. However, because it is so heavy, it grips to the road much better, and the fact that it is also front wheel drive just adds to the insane grip this thing can have while cornering. Once you're nearing the apex, just step on the throttle. You should hold out on stepping on the throttle until you hit the apex. However, if you do feel the need to accelerate, just know that there isn't much risk in doing so, as understeer is very easy to correct. And speaking of understeer, as expected of a front wheel drive car, this is obviously a weakness in the Volvo. However it's easy to prevent, as long as you use half your brain for throttle control. The real biggest weakness of the Volvo is its overall speed, as it struggles quite a bit on both acceleration and top speed. This can cause it to struggle on high speed tracks, however you will be able to catch up on the corners, not to mention you'll demolish your competition in circuits. Another weakness that is inherent to all front wheel drives is that, although your back end is very well grounded, it still has a tendency to step out at extremely high speeds, however this doesn't make you lose that much speed, and is easy to avoid, just be sensitive with your steering. Now that you've mastered all of this, it's time to move on to the car itself. Thank you for showing us how to drive, Sands from Undertale. Front wheel drives are all some of the best cars in A-Class, so we'll be building the 850R for that. As usual, we'll start by getting race tires, and, because the car is front wheel drive, we'll make them as thick as we can on the front. For drivetrain, get a race clutch, transmission, and differential. We'll come back for the driveline later if possible. Get race brakes, race suspension, and anti-roll bars.
You're a big heavy family estate, so you obviously want race weight reduction too. Now for the engine parts, obviously, you're going to want race camshafts, not only because it's the most important engine upgrade, but also because you want to hear that beautiful 5 cylinder engine rev higher. Next up, get a sport turbo. This should leave you at 797 pi, which should be more than enough to get whatever shitty ricer rims you want on your car, but if you want to instead keep the stock rims, to make it look like a true sleeper, then go back to the engine, and get street pistons, followed by a sport flywheel. We cannot get a street drive line, meaning that we are done here, and can move on to tuning our estate for the perfect family ride. For gearing. Adjust your final drive towards acceleration until your top speed is 165 miles per hour, or 265 kilometers per hour. For alignment, get negative 1.7 camber in the rear, followed by 0.12 out at the front and 0.12 in at the back. For eye height, keep it 2 ticks away from minimum. And lastly, tune your braking force pressure to 90%, so that your brakes don't lock up. And that's it. If you feel like all of that was too complicated, you can just download the tune from my Forza storefront, my game attack is Flamethrower XXX. Now that you're ready to win against fully fledged sports and race cars in a family wagon, go get some podium finishes. And remember, that if you think Volvo were crazy for having an estate compete in BTCC, Pugot entered a 24 hour endurance race in Spa with none other than a fucking minivan. Goodbye and thank you for watching.